Hey, welcome back. Well, looky here. Finally, Australia gets the Lego Disney 100 minifigures, you know, after the rest of the world got theirs. But, you know, they're here. I have spent a large amount of time standing at the Kmart counter feeling all these bags, and I am reasonably confident that I have got a full set of 18. <laughs> I stood there for a very long time, but you know what? Worth it. I don't care. People look at me like I'm the biggest weirdo in the world because you know what? If it's true, it's true. <laughs> I love the chase. I'm gonna be so sad. This is the last, you know, feelable bag series. What am I gonna do with my life? Okay, anyway, so here we go. First bag. Let's find out whether I, how I actually went with my bag squishing abilities. So this, this is our little sheet of all of the different characters that you can get. So 18 is a lot. Is it? <laughs> Took me a long time to feel all these, oh, but it was fun. Uh, yeah. So. 18 different characters. On this side we've got the hey construct the ones that are slightly more tricky. This one looks like oh look the little base plate's got Disney 100 printed on it. Really nice for displaying, not very useful for, like later on. So this is Tiana. So we've already got Tiana as a mini doll. First time we're seeing her as a minifigure. I love the gloves. I want printed gloves. Why is it not printed? The skirt's not printed on the back. That seems like a bit of a lazy oversight to me because I know Lego can do that. They don't do it on the back of mini doll skirts yet, but they do do it on minifigures. So she's got the new hairpiece, which we already saw on the mini doll, the, the, like the treehouse set. She's got two different face choices. I think I'm going to put this one forward. Still not in love with the hairpiece. But it looks it does look better on the minifigure than it does on the mini doll. She's got oh, I love this! It's got her Tiana place, Tiana's place poster, and even down to the detail of the rip down one side. Oh my gosh! And the lime green frog. This is really great accessories coming with this mini with this minifigure. I'm going to steal them for my mini doll version. So here is our mini doll version that came with the treehouse. Why does she not go on? She doesn't fit. What? What? Is that like base plate warped or? Or is it, let's see what it looked, no, minifigure's fine. Okay, so I suspect there's something wrong with the, hmm, the dress mold for the mini dolls. Interesting. Anyway, oh, that's annoying actually. <laughs> I'll move on though. Let's give my mini doll Tiana uh, the green frog, the bright green frog, and she can have the poster now too and that's better for me because I do like the minifigure version, but the mini doll one is better except for the fact the skirt doesn't fit on the base plate. Mmm. Okay, all right, so there we go. I mini dollized the very first one. I'm not going to do that with all of these because some of them I just can't, and they're just such iconic figures that I don't want to mess about with them too much. Let's have a look what we have next. We've got Disney 100, obviously. This is, oh, this is Miguel from Coco, and the just love that Coco's been included in here. Miguel has got He's two. He's got two different face choices. He's got the little mold on top of his lip, and even like the little dimple on the other side. Got his hoodie, his full hoodie, nice. But he also has a separate head choice, so that when he is in the land of the dead, because it's all set through the like during Dia de los Muertos, he's got his two different skeletal face choices. That's really good. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's. Yeah, so we've got normal. Do we normally have two different face choices? I love the fact that they've given us just such a large amount of variety here. So, Miguel, and he's got his guitar. So, an acoustic guitar, we'll put it in. Yeah, we'll just get him to hold it like this. And he also has got his faithful companion, Dante, the Cray Cray <laughs> Mexican hairless dog. I love the tongue. They've done such a great job of printing this dog. <laughs> love it. Okay, Miguel, I can't mini dollarize him. I just can't. It's impossible. So he's just going to stay as he is. He looks great as a minifigure. Let's find out what Ooh, we've got next. We've got Pinocchio. I'm so excited for this minifigure. And I'll tell you why as we go along. Not only is like Pinocchio one of the most classic of the Disney characters and of just of fairy tale stories. This has, this is look at the mini doll head has got a nose. So he actually has got, it's actually squishy. So like a little bit rubbery. So if you stand on it, it does not actually impale your foot. Well, mostly, hopefully. But I love that he's got a little nose for him to grow when he tells lies. And he's also got his goldfish, no, Geppetto's goldfish. What was the goldfish's name? Cleo. Cleo, I think. Yeah. That's really cute. That's such a lovely little addition that that's his accessory. So we got Pinocchio. It's interesting. I'm still like kind of reeling over the fact that they put Miguel in here because he's just not a classic Disney character. But I, I don't know. Let's just have a look. So <laughs> I'm going to stop hypothesizing about stuff. So we've got a little cape here. This is 
this is so we just had Pinocchio. It's really convenient that we have got Jiminy Cricket as the next character straight after. So we got Jiminy. He's got his beautiful little tails outfit. He's got an uppy cloaky thing, like his uppy collar. By the way, don't forget about the collars and the cloaks. Make sure you check for them because this bag was double bagged. That means that there's actually a cloak in there as well or a little material piece. So make sure you check in there for, for that. So there we go. We've got his head on. He's only got one face choice and he's got a very colourful top hat. I mean, obviously, because that's what he's supposed to have. Oh my gosh. But he also has got his pink umbrella, his parasol. This such, is such a cute little minifigure. It's, it's interesting to have two characters from Pinocchio. I just love it. So we've actually got, got a reasonable... Because when you think of Disney, or when you used to think of Disney in the past, you thought of Disney Princess, but we're actually getting a large amount of not Disney Princess characters in here because Disney has moved away from that as well. Plus we got villains. Oh my gosh, I love the villains. Speaking of which, this is really, really awesome. So this is the Queen of Hearts. So all the way back to Alice in Wonderland, she's got exactly the same little uppy collar as Jiminy Crickets. I think it might be. So we've got the Queen of Hearts, got the massive big skirt, and she needs her top here. Arms need to go forward because they're not going to sit there if you don't sit them forward. So I put the collar on. I'm really struggling to get these collars on easily. I mean, it's not like it's hard, but still. So we've got two different face choices. Both of them are absolutely perfect. Let's put this one forward. Oh my gosh. And her crown and hair piece are all, yeah, they're all one molded piece together, which is a bit of a shame because I like having removable accessories for the crown, but that's fine. It looks fantastic. I'm just going to turn her face around because the other one's so much more fun with off with her head, off with her head. Perfect. <laughs> Put your head back on. <laughs> and your hair back on. And she has got her little Queen of Hearts scepter -y thing. And I think we have... Have we had these hearts in red before? We've had the hearts in red with the little clock printed on them, but I don't know if we've had them just plain. Could be wrong. And we've got two of these, so she can have, like, one scepter for waving and one scepter for whapping people with. Look, she's got... She's got choices now, people. Okay, Queen of Hearts looks absolutely fantastic. What a great character to be included. Let's see who we have got next. Oh my goodness. This one's one of my favorites because growing up, we didn't actually have, well, we didn't do Disney princesses. I, I didn't even know that those movies existed, but we did watch Robin Hood over and over and over again. So this is little, this is, yeah, this is Robin Hood, the version that I watched when I was a kid. And we also used to watch Sword in the Stone a lot too. So the, the hands I had like an obsession with Merlin and King Richard and <laughs> all of those, all of those stories rather than Disney princess stories. Okay. So he has got a fantastic little red feather in his hat all together. He's such a, he's a really cute minifigure. I think people are going to really go for this. It's not just me. I know that I'm not the only person who was obsessed with the Robin Hood, the Robin Hood movie as a kid. So cute. And we even get an extra tail and two extra feathers, which is interesting and weird. An extra tail is weird too. Okay. So Robin Hood. Oh, wow. Such a, such an interesting selection. Oh, okay. 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 So we finally, <laughs> knocking everyone over. We've got Pocahontas as a mini doll. Finally been complaining for years that we haven't seen her. Now in this one year, we get her both as a mini doll and as a minifigure. And I got to tell you, the printing as the minifigure is fantastic. It's also great as a mini doll too, though. Uh, face choices. She's got two. We did take a really long time for us to see Pocahontas. And I'm going to assume that's because, I mean, her story story because she's based on a real life person and yeah her actual yeah her actual life would have been nothing like a Disney princess style existence anyway so she has got a compass based on her yeah the compass from based on the movie and she's also got I just love this three different shades of autumnal leaves for colors of the wind which is still one of my it's one of those songs that still gives me shivers whenever I hear it okay all right so beautiful but I'm going to actually take her compass. Actually, there are two compasses. I don't have to take hers. I'm going to going to just swap this around for the mini doll version because the mini doll version in the treehouse set just got given a generic compass and nah, -uh, now there's a better one. Yeah, I do like the mini doll version a lot more. <laughs> and we can give her all of the leaves as well. I wish there was a way to suspend them as though they're blowing in the breeze. The colors of the wind. That's so pretty. Oh, I'm, I'm really genuinely glad that we finally do have Pocahontas, though, even though she is, well, the Disneyfication of her story is 
problematic, to say the least. Okay, all right, next, next one. Oh, this is, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so excitable i loved fantasia i don't i this, so this is the sorcerer's apprentice because it was just all cartoons no speaking to classical music and i don't know why i love that so much as a kid <laughs> and around about i remember when fantasia 2000 came out too which was not anywhere near as good nearly as good as the original one but still it was so nice to have more variety of the same sort of style but yeah the classic one is the best and mickey as the sorcerer's apprentice with all of the buckets and <laughs> <laughs> the brooms and oh my gosh it's just iconic it's entirely iconic so this outfit is fantastic hold on to that broom there was actually a little nod to this to sorcerer's apprentice mickey in the original disney castle in the lego disney castle so that we had the wizard's hat and, the, and a broom and a bucket too i think but now we've actually got a sorcerer's apprentice mickey minifigure that was really surprisingly hard to say all right we have got like i wonder what the ratio is of male and female characters in this because it seems quite like male heavy so this is on <laughs> It's just, I'm just predictably excited now, aren't I? This is King John, Prince John, Prince John. This is Prince John from the Robin Hood movie. Once again, one of my favourite characters. I love his outfit. This is so good. And he's got the little uppy. No, hold on, that's not an uppy. He's got, oh, they're like the ermine fur cloak that sits around his shoulder, his shoulders, and he's, yeah, he's moulded. His molded head with the crown on it is just is just perfection. So good. Got his bag full of his overtaxed taxed earnings, which is why everybody's rebelling. So and he's also got some some coinage just fallen out because he's been taxing them too much and the money's everywhere would have loved the snake that would have been so cool too but wow to have two characters from robin hood so awesome who's next this is so much fun we are oh mulan i can tell from the happy so this this is what so once again we get uh one of the like traditional style no not style disney princesses we're getting a good range of the more ethnic Disney princesses, her outfit is great. Her face, got two face choices. We're going to put this more frustrated one forward because that's how I feel she's lived most of her life. Got two swords here, both the same. Not quite the right style sword for the actual era, um, but that's okay. And she has got, she's got a companion here with Cricky. We still don't have, we still haven't got Mushu, like, Ever. We've got so many Mulans in mini doll versions. Well, enough, enough Mulans. None of them have been quite so, quite as good, I think, as this minifigure because I really like her outfit because her outfit is quite, is, yeah, quite genuine there. Authentic is a better word. So this one's the, my, my, my favorite of the mini dolls. Outfit is similar here, but it's not, still not quite right. So yeah, the minifigure wins in this capacity, I think. In fact, I don't think, I know, I know it does. So here we go. Okay, so we got Mulan, we got Cricky, no Mushu yet, but maybe one day. <laughs> We've got yet another version of Stitch. We had Stitch in a previous minifigure series, but this is the one where all of his arms are present. Lots and lots of arms. <laughs> Double arms on both sides. So he's even more trouble. You know, Lilo and Stitch is one of my most favourite movies of the more of the more recent I suppose it's not even that recent these days but I just loved it loved it to pieces watched it over and over again and always got teary yeah I, I wish we could have Lilo when are we gonna see Lilo she would be so cute next to Stitch okay so all right we've given Stitch his his troublemaker machines let's find out who we have next we've got I know who this is and I can't remember his name he's from Coco so he's the He's the uh, musician, like the famous musician. His outfit is like absolute fire. The printing on this is insane. Ernesto. So Ernesto de la Cruz from Coco. So he is here as a companion to Miguel and Dante. His hat with hair is amazing. The big sombrero with the printing around it. And his guitar is the best thing I have ever seen. Look at the printing on that. Oh, hold on. No, you have to hold on the other arm. <laughs> Check out. And it's got all the little skulls on it. Wow, okay, they went to town with the printing on this minifigure and it's, I don't, it's, my lights are bleaching it out a little bit too much. It's absolutely spectacular. I just want to have a little bit of a go because I haven't tried any of these stuff on my mini dolls. I want to see how some of the 
no, that doesn't work on Ollie. Maybe on Leo. I want to see how some of the accessories look, the hats with hair and stuff. Leo's got slightly like the better complexion for this hat, maybe. Maybe for Ollie he could try on he could try on Pinocchio's hat. That's kind of cute. And Zach could oh the hoodie doesn't work with mini dolls because it, it sits too high up. So maybe he could have uh he could have Jiminy Cricket's top hat. <laughs> See, they look cute. It's so much fun playing dress up with the mini dolls with all these accessories and hair pieces. I'm going to have a field day with these, but I can't make the characters out of mini dolls. I just can't because they just don't look genuine. All right, next up we have got, it's always so much fun to to see these, it's Baymax. And you know, while I was sitting there, so from Big Hero 6, while I was actually sitting there, standing there, feeling through all the bags, the lady who's on the checkout, one of her friends was trying to find Baymax. So when I found a second Baymax, I made sure that she, she could have that one. <laughs> because this is pretty easy, easy to identify, but not so easy to find because it doesn't have really, it's, it doesn't have like a big head or hair piece. But I just love this version of Bay Baymax. He could be a big fig, but I kind of like him as a dorky little minifig. I think he's adorable. So we've got two of these printed charging sides and one plane. So I think one goes on one side and the other plane one goes on the other side. But how cute does he look in his little charging station? I love him to pieces. Oh my gosh, his little, his little balloony arms. He's adorable. I <laughs> love you, Baymax. Do you know who I do, like, want to see as a minifigure or as mini doll? The characters from Luca, like, the turning into the mermaids, like the little boy mermaids. I want that. Okay, so, <laughs> so I loved Luca. It was so nice. So this is, oh, man, it's the guy. It's the mean guy. It's the voodoo witch doctor from from Tiana from the Frog Prince. Frog and the Prince thing. Tiana story. It's, what's his name? Dr. Facilia. Dr. Facilia, yeah, the witch doctor, and he is, I mean, as villains go, he's not the first one I would think of to put in here, but maybe he's here as a companion for Tiana. So this is a printed tarot card piece, and he's also got, like, his pokey scepter wand stick thing with purple on the end. Once again, not terribly memorable as a character, but look, it's a character we haven't seen in Lego before, so I'm not going to complain. It's nice to have new, different, different people turning up rather than just the same ones being rehashed over and over again. So speaking of rehashing, but we have Aurora. Aurora from Sleeping Beauty, who we have had as mini doll before because she's a classic Disney princess, but now we have her as a minifigure. Printing on here is very pretty. No printing on the back of her skirt. Weird. I like the printing on this. I actually prefer this to some of the really embellished versions that we have got as mini dolls, and she's got a sleepy face and a brand new hairpiece. Oh my gosh, I want sleepy faces for my mini dolls. I just, we need them. Why don't we have them? And this hairpiece is great. And she's got her owl. I would have loved it. The owl would, like, with its big cartoony eyes, I would have loved the owl to have, like, a little hat and a little cape like she dresses him up in. <laughs> anyway, I'm now stealing this hairpiece to try it on. Oh, actually, I'm going to change this face around because I was talking about sleepy eyes. These are micro doll sleepy eyes. Uh, not really sleepy eyes. They're, like, smiley eyes. But we're going to work them as sleepy eyes. She looks happy to be asleep. I would be happy to sleep for a hundred years and I might actually wake up refreshed. That hairpiece looks really fantastic. I love, I want that hairpiece now on all future mini doll auroras. Thanks very much. So she's now got her owl friend and sleepy eyes and fantastic. She looks fantastic. <laughs> mini figure goes away. <laughs> I like the mini doll version that I've just created. Okay. Who do we have now? It's another villain. Oh, this is so good too. We have never seen Snow White's evil queen. Does she have a name? As a mini doll or as a minifigure. And actually now I'm thinking about it. Snow White is not included in this. That's really weird because she's like a classic. She is the classic Disney princess. Anyway, this is fantastic minifigure. She's got her little cape, red, like double sided cape and this this like completely molded crown and black wrap thing around. That's really good. And she's even got a printed mirror. We can stick this bit up here and that way you can put it. Yeah. This once again, this came like we had the mirror from this story with the red apple in the actual Disney, the original Disney Lego castle. But now we got a printed version. Now I've got Maleficent out here now in the mini doll cause she's got that black wrap around her head too, which is weird and wrong, but I'm trying out this hair piece. It's not really hair piece, like the crown piece because it came with two. So I'm trying it out just to see how it looks on mini doll. It looks great. I love it. Now I just want an evil queen. I would like an evil queen mini doll, please. Thank you, please. I'm just putting it out there in the, 
complete universe. This, this is Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. I have never heard of him before. And when I first saw him, my first thought was of these really creepy vintage Easter Bunny pictures. Um, yeah, which I don't think is quite fair, but here we are. And he was apparently created a year before Mickey Mouse. So yeah, I don't know enough about his heritage, but apparently he's a classic character. So, and he has got a little clapboard with Oswald. I uh, can't read the rest of it because keep dropping it. Oswald, something to act to, take one. So, yeah, an original movie, original Disney movie character before even Mickey Mouse was incepted. Okay, last one. It's Cruella. I am so excited to have Cruella. Once again, please give me some mini doll villains. I would just love some more. Cruella's fantastic. She kind of is a standalone villain. That <laughs> uh, I want maybe the Emma Stone version from this of the story of the live action but this is fantastic so she's got a yellow coat she's got a yellow cape this is so good her hairpiece with the earrings attached I need more hairpiece with earrings I think it's just fantastic she's got one little tiny Dalmatian <laughs> so cute and she's got a foxtail glove no it's not a glove it's a purse her foxtail foxtail little clutch and there are actually two of these as printed pieces it's a really nice inclusion <laughs> really cute okay I'm gonna try making the Emma Stone version kind of maybe sort of with but matching the color scheme of the Cruella de Vil 101 Dalmatians color scheme I don't know whether it's gonna work I'm gonna steal her cape which isn't gonna work on a mini doll so much maybe the hairpiece will hold it down but I just kind of wanted this mashup to see what this hairpiece would look honestly, like on a mini doll. I think it looks actually pretty good. It's a little bit high in the forehead. In the forehead. Forehead? What is that? What even? Forehead? Now <laughs> it feels weird. Let's give her the purse. Forehead. Forehead? I think that's better. Forehead. Mm. Now I'm broken. Can't even get the purse in her hand. This is a cute version though. I do. I would really like some mini doll versions. <laughs> that's that's really fun. Okay, so we have opened all 18. I did actually manage to get all 18 of them. Yay, no duplicates. And they look really fantastic. And I've popped a few of my mini doll versions in amongst the minifigure versions because they can cohabit quite happily. They, you know, they get along really nicely. Look at them. Look at them all there together in a group. All right, let me know what your favorite minifigure is or was or which one you're collecting, which one you're still really keen to try and get your hands on. I don't I don't know if I have a favorite. Payback brings me a lot of joy, but they're all, it was a lot of fun in this, a lot of fun in this series. All right. Uh, yeah, do all the things, check back in soon, more videos coming up. And now I definitely need a little bit of light on because I'm still a little bit too excited with this one. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye.